Here we have the Epson Stylus Photo R3000. Comes in a similar size box as the, uh, the Epson Stylus Pro 3880. Inside there's a black box you'll see here. It'll contain all of your inks, as well as power cord and user manual, and the printer drivers as well. Two end caps for the roll fed, the 13 inch roll, sit right on top as well. And then the CD tray for printing directly to CDs or DVDs. And then on the bottom, we have the printer itself, and 13 inches wide. Here's the printer out of the box. Uh, comes with plastic all around it, all taped up. All you have to do to start it up is uh, take off all the plastic, plug it in. It'll give you all the instructions here on the, uh, the LCD to set up the printer. Uh, in addition, there is the two core adapters that you need to put on the printer. If you look up close here, there's an L and then there's an R on them. And there's also the orange arrows that you have to uh, attach them to the printer. They actually match up on the back of the printer. There's a respective orange arrow. The orange arrow matches up here with the orange arrow on here. See the right side has two hooks which will go on this side. So they'll actually attach right on. And it sits right on top there. The left side. Attach onto this side. They don't lock in. They will just stand here free standing. They'll be slightly wobbly. But you'll be able to feed the roll on from there then through the back of the printer. Upon initial startup of the printer, you're going to see it's going to tell you to install the ink cartridges. Each of the ink cartridges comes packaged individually. They have the same pull down, same tab that you have to pull down. No scissors are needed to cut these open. Each of these are 25.9 point, uh, milliliters. To install the ink cartridges, lift up the front cover, pull the front tab, and you'll see each one has its own slot for each individual ink cartridge. Before putting the inks in, shake it a little bit, pull the yellow tab off of the ink cartridge, and actually install this so that it reads the way you look at it. Push it into here a click, and do that for each of the individual cartridges. So here we have on the menu settings, uh, you can do the black ink change method. If you hit OK, you can change it to matte black. I'm going to leave it as photo black right now, but it also shows you all the ink levels. Um, there's also a few uh, on-screen tutorials on how you can load the media. So on here you have load thick media, and then you can choose either fine art or poster board. Uh, the poster board is uh, up to 1.3 millimeters, and then the fine art qualifies as anything under 7, 0.7 millimeters. Um, then again, there's loading on a CD or DVD using the CD-DVD tray that comes. And again, it's the step-by-step -step instructions on how you uh, go about doing that. I can load roll paper. Which is the same thing, a step-by-step -step guide on how you can load the roll paper, as well as all your basic setup, maintenance, network settings, printer setup, that can all be done in here the, the LCD menu.